Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today is a very exciting day for Pixel users because Google released Android 12L. It's available right now on the Pixel 5 and the earlier models, but unfortunately the Pixel 6 is not yet included. Expect it to be available very very soon and I will create a separate video for 12L on the Pixel 6 models. But for now let's take a look at what's new in Android 12L. Let's start with the build number. It's SP2A2203.05.012. And now let's take a look at the new features. Let's start with the lock screen and the first change when you start typing your unlocking code, as you see, the numbers are now shifted towards the top instead of showing right on top of the keypad itself. The unlocking animation overall is much better than before. It feels faster and it's more consistent. And now when you go to settings and then display and then lock screen, you will see a new toggle here called the double line clock. This option will allow you to turn off the centered clock of Android 12 in case you don't have any notifications and it will always stick towards the top left corner. And as per Google, the at a glance widget should be able to show you the battery percentage of your Pixel Buds on the lock screen and the other supported accessories as well. But unfortunately, the feature didn't show up yet on my phone. However, I have my Pixel Buds connected already. So I will create a separate video to talk about these missing features once they show up. Now let's talk about the home screen. And the first change is in the folders color. Now they match your device theme and instead of always using a transparent white color. The second change is in the home screen overlay menu. And now I have a quick wallpaper speaker that shows the most recent ones I have. It can show up to five wallpapers, but in this case, it only shows three. Unfortunately, it doesn't work properly when you set a wallpaper using a third party app. So in my case, I have a different wallpaper from the one that has a tick sign on top of it. And when I tap on it, nothing happens. It only works the best when you switch between the pixel wallpapers that are already included in the wallpaper and the style app. But once you set a third party wallpaper, it doesn't pick up the correct one. Change number three is the new haptic feedback you will feel when you access the app drawer. And if you have the suggested apps feature activated, you will see a new rolling effect every time a change happens. That we didn't have before also in Android 12. The app closing animation using the back gesture is now better as well. When I use the back gesture, as you see here, the animation is linked to the app icon, which wasn't the case before. You will see the new animation also when you try to edit one of your widgets and then go back. The at a glance widget also got some improvements. The first one is the ability to tap on the weather information to access the weather app. And when you tap on the date, it will take you to the calendar app. And as I mentioned before, the battery percentage of your Bluetooth accessories should also appear on the home screen, same as the lock screen, but it doesn't work for both. Now let's talk about the widgets and the most exciting change is the new battery widget. As you see, I have my Pixel Buds connected and I can see the case battery percentage, the left and right earbuds, and also the phone. The widget can be resized. This is the smallest one you can get. And also you can make it as big as the entire screen, but it looks a little bit ugly. So I think this is the best size you can use. And also it looks fine when you use it that way. You can also see some icons to give you an idea about which device it belongs to. And here is how it looks. So you can resize it the way you want. And when you tap on any of the devices, it will take you to the relevant page. So for example, when I tap on my phone, it will take me to the battery page under settings. And when I tap on my Pixel Buds, it takes me to the connected devices under the Bluetooth settings. To get this new widget, you need to update an app called Settings Services. But unfortunately, the version currently available on the Play Store will not activate it for you. So I will leave the download link for the proper APK. Once you uninstall it, you will see it under your widgets picker. Then scroll down a little bit until you see something called Settings Services. Expand it and you will see the widget right here. One more thing to mention about this widget, if your device is charging either the phone or the accessory, you should see a small charging icon next to it. And once I put the two buds in the case and close it, wait for a few seconds, everything will disappear. The widget speaker itself also got a couple of improvements. When you tap and hold on any app icon and then widgets, now you have much more space to see the ones you have. And instead of only showing at the bottom half of the screen, the second change is the new weather section that only includes the weather widgets. 
Now let's talk about the camera and it got a couple of new exciting changes. The first one is related to the night sight performance in terms of speed and the quality. So let me show you a couple of photos I took before and after the update under the same lighting conditions. And here's the first one before the update. As you see, it's much darker compared to the one taken after installing 12L, especially when you look at the top right corner. Not only this, but when I zoom all the way in, the text doesn't look that sharp and I can see a lot of noise in the corners. However, when I switch to the other one, the text is much better and also the noise is much less. Not only this, but I found night sight to be much faster with 12L and this is very important because the less time you need to take the shot, the less blurness you get. And that's why the one taken with Android 12L is much sharper compared to the previous one. The second change is only exclusive to the Pixel 6 models, which is the ability to use night sight in Snapchat. But as I mentioned before, Pixel 6 didn't get the update yet, so stay tuned for my upcoming videos. Next, the recent apps screen. And now you will get a very nice haptic feedback when you switch between apps using the home bar and also when you scroll through them like this. The clear all button now has a pill shape design instead of text only and the split screen got a lot of new changes. The first one is the name. It's now called split top with a new icon. And when you tap on split top and try to go to the home screen to pick an app, it will dismiss the whole thing, not like before. So that means your only option is to choose an app from your recent apps screen like this. Double tapping on the separator will swap the apps, which is a nice touch. Also, the split screen windows are now much rounded compared to the previous version, only with the Pixel 5 and Pixel 4a models to match the device shape. But if we're going to take a look at the same split screen view on the Pixel 6 Pro, for example, as you see, they are more rectangular to also match the edges of the phone. And when you try to resize the apps, it will no longer show you a preview of them, but instead you can see the app icons. When you swipe up, it will take you right away to the home screen rather than allowing you to choose another app. But the best part is when you access your recent apps screen again, you will see the two apps are now paired and they are showing as if they are one app with two icons at the top, which means you can create multiple split screens and switch between them as if they are two different apps. When you tap on any of the icons at the top, it will show you the relevant overlay menu. And if the two apps have the quick sharing buttons available, the one at the top next to the icons will always copy the content of the app at the bottom and the other one will be for the app at the top. So let me show you this. Sometimes it doesn't work as you see it's buggy. I'm tapping on the button, but it doesn't allow me to do so. But anyways, this is how it looks. And when you tap on the one at the top, as you see, it has a bug as well. And the link appears behind the app icons. So my suggestion is to put this button next to the app it belongs to instead of having it next to the icons. I also noticed tapping on this button will no longer show you the recent contacts at the bottom of the screen if you are in a split screen view. The last thing to mention about the split screen feature, with Android 12 L Beta 2 we got a new button here in the picture in picture window that will allow you to start a split screen immediately. However, with Beta 3 the feature got removed and it didn't make its way back with the final release. You can only find this feature in Android 13 Developer Preview 1, so maybe Google decided to push the feature to the next release of Android. Now let's talk about the notifications shade and it's mainly a visual change. As you see here, when I tap on the internet tile, it will change into a floating card that will allow me to do some actions like turning the Wi-Fi on or off or the data connection. Same as the screen recording tile, you will also see the same with the screencast and so on and so forth. The same thing applies to the buttons. So when you try to switch between users, as you see, I'm getting the same animation and also with the power button, the media output switcher also use the same animation. Uh, one more feature here, when you activate the airplane mode and then tap on the internet tile, now there is a quick shortcut to turn off the airplane mode. But this new behavior doesn't apply on all the tiles. So for example, when you tap on device controls and then go back, as you see, it quits the whole thing and it opens the controls in a separate page. So I wish Google will also apply the same behavior to the device controls tile. And with Android 12 L, if you don't have any notifications, the notifications text will appear in the center instead of showing at the top, which will make it easier for you to access the notifications history. Now let's talk about some random changes throughout the OS. And the first thing is the sound and vibration card. First, it's taller with more rounded corners 
and the buttons are using a pill shape design with a fill color you will no longer see line separators and everything looks cleaner now and that's exactly the case with any overlay card you will see uh, on the phone so for example when i turn off the camera axis and open the camera this card has the same design language as well under the styles and the wallpapers app we got three new wallpapers under the curated culture category to celebrate women's international day next gboard and now when you type any word like happy birthday for example and then add an emoji next to it you will see new stickers got created with the actual words and instead of only using the emoji stickers and this is a new feature in gboard i already have on my 6 pro without installing marsh feature drop but maybe i got this feature without installing the update because i'm registered to the beta program of gboard on the play store google also announced a couple of new features in the phone app the first one is the ability to check the business's waiting time before calling them and the second one will allow you to choose between the IVR options using your phone screen instead of listening to them. Both features are only available in the US, English only, and they work with the toll-free numbers. The features can be activated on the Pixel 3a and later. All other features are only exclusive to the Pixel 6 models like using Night Sight and Snapchat. The recorder app now supports more languages, same as the Live Translate feature so that's pretty much it for today those are all the new features i spotted in android 12l please let me know in the comments if i missed anything but for now thank you for watching and see you in the next video